Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and I honestly don't know what happened to my camera angle because this is the same angle I always film at in this corner and for some reason it's like much further back and I have to sit very far back and I don't know what's happening but we're just gonna roll with it because I don't have time to fix it right now so that's just gonna be a thing. <laughs> um, but anyways I am back with another Mad Little Chatter today. Um, I haven't done one of these in a very long time. The last one I did the main focus was Be More Chill which I love. I cherish that musical and it's wonderful and fantastic and hello text messages. Anyways, um, it's wonderful and fantastic and I keep listening to it and I can't stop listening to it and I need to finish my Michael Chibi because I have him just sitting over there and I wanted to get puffy paint for his jacket. So that's a thing. But basically you will see this video tomorrow which is my also, <laughs> hello, my hair is different. My hair is purple now. It's a thing. I am extremely happy with it. I've always wanted to do something like this. The ends are going to be more pink. Um, I'm going back in on Wednesday morning and we're going to deposit more color into the ends. So that's going to be cool because it didn't get light enough to take it. So you can really see that it's kind of blondish down there. But those ends are going to be more pink, kind of like the highlights up here, which is really super exciting. So I'm going to go back in Wednesday and do that. But I did this yesterday. It is something I've always wanted to do. It's fantastic. I love my hairdresser so much. She's been doing my hair since I was in middle school and I just cherish her and she's wonderful. Um, so yeah, it's a big change and like a big, I feel like new chapter. I'm super, super duper excited. I've always wanted to have colorful hair, like always, always, always. And my birthday is next Saturday on September 9th. So I was like, what better time than now to do this and do my hair. Um, also, you will see this video on Monday and then videos from there on out until n Monday and then Friday and then that next Monday and then f possibly that Friday as well are all going to be pre-filmed because I will be in Walt Disney World finally and you will see tons of vlogs after that hopefully but I will be doing my 21 art drops while I am there and it's just going to be a huge, fun, fantastic trip and I am literally so excited. I wish I could leave right now, but I can't. I have to go to work tonight. That's a thing. But yeah, so here we are. I'm doing another one of these that I haven't done in like 12 million years. And I am trying to make a crop top with this yarn that I got from, um, which I just realized I didn't increase that real. Oh, well, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It was in the clearance section and it's perfect and like pastel and awesome. And I love it which I will, uh, I'm making up this pattern. I'll just increase the next row. It's not going to ruin the whole thing. It's just one row. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think as for updates wise, I mean, everything's been crazy. Just trying to plan for this trip and to get out of here and stuff like that. Um, I, <laughs> why is it that like I have tons of stuff to talk about and then I sit down in front of the camera and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Um, oh, I've been painting a lot recently in case you have not noticed from my channel. Um, I really like it. I've always wanted to paint more. I still need to do my second canvas of Crowley. I did my first ever acrylic on canvas painting of a Xerophil, which I will put the eye, the link in the eye bar. It's either here or there. I don't know. I think it's here. Um, I'll put the link in the eye bar for that video because that was super fun. And I actually live streamed part of that, which was exciting on Instagram. That was the first time I have ever done that. Um, with like painting or anything like that. I've done one before with crocheting. Um, but that turned out really great and I really want to do the second one for Crowley, which I will talk about Good Omens for a little bit because the TV show, they just cast Crowley and Aziraphale and it's going to be David Tennant for Crowley and oh, um, Michael, what's his name? He's going to be Aziraphale and I'm like super excited because that's going to be Okay, that's gonna that's good casting choice right there. They are both fabulous actors and they are gonna be able to bounce off of each other very well, which I'm super excited about. So that's gonna be the Amazon TV show for Good Omens, which I am going, I have to watch it. There's like no way I can't watch it. I've been too into that book lately. Um, and I saw Sunset Boulevard the other night. That was exciting um, at the Moonlight Amphitheater. We have season tickets for that and it was a play that I've never seen before. I've heard of it, but I've never, I, I know it's an old movie first, but I've never seen the actual uh, musical and um, Andrew Lloyd Webber did the music 
and it was really good. It was fantastic. I loved it a lot. It's such a great complicated story and it's just, it was fun. It was fun. It made me want to watch the movie really bad. So I've seen that and then my next play after that I'm so excited about we're gonna go see In the Heights and I've oh I'm just so excited I'm so excited to see In the Heights just Lin-Manuel's first work it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic so we're gonna see In the Heights and then the day after that we're gonna go see Heathers at another local theater me and a bunch of my friends from work are gonna go see Heathers and that's gonna be fun and that's when I get back from my trip so it's just all this stuff is packed into there but it's super it's super great I'm super excited for like everything it's gonna it's gonna be fantastic um I think one of the videos you're gonna be seeing possibly on Friday um if I remember to film is I'm going to round one um which is an arcade it's um we're going to the one in the Marino Valley it's an arcade with a lot of Japanese style UFO um, claw games, crane games, and um, they're all skill based and it's going to be really, I've never been there and I've always wanted to go and I've seen all these videos for it. So we're going to go there for that and I'm just trying to, why can I never think of things to talk about when I'm here? Um, it's it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm doing stuff um, at school right now, I'm in my pre-portfolio class. And um, I'm character. I'm designing my characters for a book that I'm writing that um, it's about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I don't want to give too much away um, because I'm very precious with this idea. This is like my idea, and I love these characters so so much um, to just start like talking about them out on the internet if that makes sense. Um, but I've been working on the character designs for them, and I'm really pushing myself with that. And I don't know how it's going because I. I wanted to make some of them like demon grotesque looking which I say as I'm sitting here in my pastel Captain America room with my pastel hair um painting I mean crocheting a pastel crop top but I really like scary looking creepy things like that too so um but that's like such a push because I don't know if some of you've noticed with like my art style I don't really draw that so that's gonna be an interesting thing I have um Gosh, I feel like my brain's all over the place and I'm talking so much, but I've only been filming for seven minutes and I usually keep these at ten. Um, I have ten more art drops that I need to finish. I have, well, I mean, <sighs> I have some that are like, I have all the pieces, they just need to be assembled, which is what I'm probably going to be doing Monday and Tuesday and then I realize that that's tomorrow and the next day because we're leaving on Thursday at five in the morning um but I have I have most of them like pre-assembled or sketched out onto wooden pieces because I'm doing more wooden paintings um and I'm gonna film those ones maybe I'll film those ones tonight um and that's gonna be one of my pre-filmed videos probably for Fridays just like the painting progress and stuff like that and assembly um I have two of them completely assembled which is nice but I'm doing 21 of those. I have 11, like, sort of loosely completed to officially completely completed. Um, so I just need to make the pieces for 10 more of them, and then that will be all set on that, which is nice. Um, that's gonna be so much fun. We're doing all sorts of fun, fun stuff. I'll try to film as much as I can, but I make no official promises because when I get really in the moment when I'm places, especially out with my family and stuff like that, I don't really think to film that much because I haven't been doing this my whole life. I've, it's been like a recent thing that I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing all of this stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try to film the art drops because that's, that's going to be kind of in the forefront, but we'll see because we've also been planning this trip for years. I mean literally years that we've been planning this trip so it's really exciting that it's like finally here and it's gonna happen so yeah I'm approaching the 10 minute mark now like I said I try to keep these at 10 minutes so I'm not talking your ear off for like a half an hour because I know I can talk really fast and get really really into it and also because I have to go to work in 10 minutes I just noticed excitement so <laughs> Yeah, anyways, um, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video. I also have a Ko-fi if you're interested. Coffee, Ko-fi, whatever. You can um, buy your favorite online creators a cup of coffee and help support them in whatever they do. That link is down below as well. 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye!